of the low temperature dishwashing machines. They differ from a hot water machine in the fact that there's no 180 degree final rinse water. It's utilized in the house water and the chemical sanitizing system. Okay, let's talk about the chemicals that are used in the machine. There are three of them. One is the detergent, and the detergent, as you can see, is called Complete. And we have a red tube going into the detergent. What you want to do is you want to pull the tubes out and you want to make sure that you can see the tube in the bottom of the spout here. Because that'll tell you that nobody pulled the tube up the stem and that's why it's not picking up from the bottom of the container. The green one here is our liquid sanitizer. And the same thing with the tube. We're going to check the tube to make sure. There it is. We see the tube coming through the bottom. We know it's good. The bone dry is the blue tube and we can see it right here we know it's done right and because of that we know it'll pick up the very bottom of the container and we won't waste any chemical we put it right back into the holders we have a visual on when they're empty here inside the machine you have a drain plunger that goes up and down and this drain plunger changes the water in the machine automatically you have to make sure that the rubber on the machine, on the drain, is in good condition and it's not falling off. Also inside here is a strainer, which must be cleaned on a regular basis. Oops, look at this one. This is not being cleaned. This will cause the pump to starve for water and you won't get the proper cleaning action out of the machine. Also inside here, if you look inside there, you'll see that there is a fit that way. You see there's an area there that's got to be kept clean also. Take it to the other machine and spray it off and then come back. Okay, so we've cleaned this, the line of the strainer. And the strainer has a square end on top and totally round on the bottom. And the square end is so you can get your fingers into it and you can hold it and put it into the, back into the machine. We bottom that in the machine, take the drain plunger, put the drain plunger back in, and we're ready to fill the machine up with water. So we're going to take and press the, we press the fill button on the machine. We let the machine fill up with water for the very first time. Also, before we start the machine, we want to make sure all the pumps are working. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the switch on it manually, and we're going to look for the soap going in on the bottom. So we know the red one is working, which is the detergent. We do the middle one now. That's the sanitizer. And we do the third one, and that's the rinse fluid. So, at this point, we know all the chemicals are going in the correct way. We have the correct sanitizing taken on, and now we can start the machine. What the machine will do is it'll run through a complete wash cycle first, and then when it's done washing, it's going to drain all that water away, fill up with fresh, clean water, and then go into a rinse cycle. The rinse cycle will be saved for the very, very next time where we add a little bit of detergent to it, and the clean rinse water will be used for the washing procedure next time. Okay, you notice the temperature right now is only 100 degrees, and the 100 degrees is really not warm enough to do washing. The temperature should be a minimum of 130, 140 degrees. Even though it's a low temperature machine, we still need the temperatures in there to, to, to give you the proper cleaning action. Something else you should look for too, inside the machine, and I'm going to show you the, both the colors, is a deliming switch right located there. Now watch what happens when I turn the machine on. The timer begins to turn and works into a cycle. However, when somebody flips the deliming switch, everything stops, the timer stops, and the machine will not cycle at all. So if you just go over to the machine and nothing's happening, before you call for service, you want to check to make sure that nobody has flipped this switch accidentally and shut the machine down. Watch when I flip the switch again, now it begins to start. Also located here behind the machine, and when you shut off that master switch, everything stops. So it's not uncommon for an employee at night to not realize it and shut that switch off. Next, next thing you know, someone comes in the daytime and they go to turn the machine on, nothing's happening, and you're calling for a service call. And there's absolutely nothing wrong, and all I gotta do is flip it back on, the light goes on, and the, and the machine is running. One thing you wanna notice here is there is a shutoff valve on top of the machine, and if somebody does this by mistake, you're not going to have any water going into the machine at all. So you want to be careful that nobody at the night crew has shut the switch off back here or closed the water off on you accidentally. Let's go to the inside of the machine now. 
Now let's take a look at how this machine functions. I'm going to drain the water out manually by lifting the plunger out. Okay, we have the wash arms that are inside the machine, and in order to take them out, pull, turn, pull and turn, and now the arm can lift right out of the holding. What you have here, you've got the, the wash arm complete, and if you have any food soil in the wash arm, you push the food soil back in, unscrew the cap at the end, take it off, and run water in here and out the other side and flush the arm clean. The same thing is done with the upper arm located right here. You want to pull that out the same way. And that comes right out. And we clean it the same way by taking the caps off on the end. It snaps right back into place. And it's very simple to do. We also have a scrap basket outside here. And the scrap basket collects food soil. And at the end of the day, we'll take this thing out and we dump it into the garbage. If you have water overflowing, overflowing out of this compartment and on the floor, it's not a machine problem. It means your drains are clogged and you've got to call Roto-Rooter or a plumber to clean your drains. This goes directly into the drain and if water comes out of here, it's because you have a clogged drain. I'm Bruce. This is a low temperature dish machine and you've just attempted Dish Machine 101. Thank you.